The Rose Quarter won't be hosting any of the playoffs this year, but the Blazers broadcasting team has still been working together inside the arena. Fox 12's Nick Krupke reports from home. This Trailblazers NBA playoff run has a unique feel and flow from seasons ago. It's so unusual, right? Because one of the things about the playoffs is the fact that it feels like the playoffs. Radio play-by-play -play man Travis Demers brings listeners inside the NBA bubble, even though he, too, is an outsider some 2,500 miles away. The high top, red and black. I got yeah. these. Never, ever expect to call a game on local radio and not actually be there in person. It's still, it, it still takes some getting used to. Jordan Kent is part of that new sound of Rip City. It's definitely been a bizarro world over the last dozen games. A quack throwback as a three sports star with the Ducks, Kent is getting his first crack at calling Blazer TV play by play after taking over for one of the game's best, Kevin Calabro. They want that energy that they get when they're sitting next to somebody else in the Moda Center in their living room and they're getting excited about each Blazer play. How do you replicate that from our vantage point? And that was really my focus coming in. The Eugene Ray's kid is a fan himself, attending his first Blazer game when Portland last beat L.A. in the playoffs, 1992. And this was the Dairy Queen Cup heyday, as we like to say, <laughs> of the Blazers. So it was terrific yeah. back then. Then and for the now, Kent is a local voice of the Bubble Blazers. I think if you start to think too much about the future and down the road, you get sidetracked and you can't really concentrate on what you're trying to do right now. So for me, if it's something that happens and works out, awesome. If not, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity. Dan Hyatt, a KPTV alum, is the Trailblazers TV producer calling these socially distant shots. It's a very, very different way to do television, a lot less control, and yet we're still, you know, we're still trying to do a Blazer broadcast, and uh, it's a challenge. Another challenge for Hyatt's home show is the production crew has been clipped from about 45 to 15, while relying what's offered up on the feed from the bubble. We have one of our own cameras, uh, and it's a challenge. It is, it is definitely, we're at the mercy of the people that are, are doing the game back in Orlando. We're getting our feed, our game, the actual game action, will be the exact same thing you're going to see on ESPN. Yeah. The only difference is the announcers, the graphics, replays like the blazers on the court the team behind the mic and behind the scenes has been playing at a playoff level for quite some time let's hope the off season is a long way away also reporting remotely from home nick krupke fox 12 oregon